Hello everyone, we're back with more DC deck building. Uh, this time we're going to check out the Justice League Dark set, okay? I have here with me uh, the setup for the regular game plus the Justice League Dark rules. So over here we have the transformation uh, zone. This is the lineup, main deck, the Mystic Rituals deck, weaknesses deck, and the Nemesis Super Villains and Super Heroes uh, deck as well. And over here I have the starter cards. What are the new rules for uh, Justice League Dart? So the transformation zone pretty much says it all. We have cards that will uh, uh, jump in and out of the game according to the transformation rules and the reversion rules. So we have here an example these characters have the keyword revert on them. What we're gonna be doing is whenever we have, uh, when we have that regular form, that card will tell you how you can transform into these cards, right? So that's why we have all these cards face up. And once you uh, attended that prerequisites, the card is going to transform and it's going to go to your discard pile, right? When it comes to revert, it's uh, it's not something that is optional, it's mandatory. So you have to pay attention to the requisites for the revert action. So in this case, if there are no heroes in your discard pile, seal this card and gain Mary Bronfield. So this card would go to your score pile that's what the seal keyword means. Uh, this is not destroyed. This is a separate pile where you keep your cards that will, will be score in the end of the game, but they're not necessarily in your deck. So the card stays there in the, you know, seal pile or score pile. And then the other card goes to uh, your discard pile. So that's the cycle. That's pretty much the cycle. Sometimes the card will transform in a different zone. So when the card uh, reverts back, it goes to its original zone. What else we have here? We have, of course, our nemesis. So let's check out some of the nemesis first, then uh, we go on with the new rules as they pop up. So first we have here reward seal the top two cards of your main deck. So, as I mentioned, sealing is getting these cards in, you, in your personal score pile. It also uh, will help you transform different cards because some of the requisites of these cards say uh, have this many cards in your seal pile, in your, in your score pile, or um, have these exact type of cards in your in your score pile so it's something that it's uh, is going to be useful for you in the long run uh, here we have brother knight he's got a first appearance attack each player gains a weakness unless they seal a hero from their hand or discard pile and the reward is you may gain a hero from your score pile or the lineup if you transform a card, first thing you have to do is check if the card named in the transformation text is in your score pile. If it is there, then you gain the card. If the named card is not in your score pile, then you have to check the transformation zone. If the card is there, then you gain it. If the named card is not in the transformation zone, then you have to check the destroyed pile, and if it's there, you gain it. And finally, if it's not in any of those zones, you do not gain the card. So when it comes to transformation, it's uh, pretty simple. You, you will find that card somewhere. However, when you revert back, uh, well, that's another story. <laughs> if you revert, you have to check if the card is in your score pile. And if it's not, you simply lose the transformation. You don't get anything back. You don't get the character back. Because if the character was destroyed, or I don't know, if it went to, to the lineup, whatever, you don't get it back. And we have here Dr. Destiny. For superior attack, each player shuffles three different cards with cost zero from their discard pile into their deck. For each you cannot, 
discard a card. And the reward is you may destroy a card you control and or in your score pile. Then we have here the other kind. First appearance attack, the players with the most sealed cards gain a weakness, then each player discards a card. Reward is each foe discards a random card. Then we have Morgan Le Fay. First appearance attack as each player gains a weakness unless they seal an equipment from their hand or discard pile. The reward is you may gain an equipment from your score pile or the lineup. And we have Merlin. First appearance attack, each player puts a superpower from their discard pile and score pile into the lineup. For each you cannot, you gain a weakness. And the reward is uh, seal the superpower from the lineup, you may put it on top of your deck. Then we have here Mordru. For superior attack, each player puts a non starter transform card from their hand or discard pile into the lineup. Each who cannot gains a weakness. And the reward is you may transform a card into the lineup you control or in your discard pile. Neron. For superior attack, each player gains the top card of the main deck and a number of weaknesses cards equal to its VP value. The reward is you may pass a card from your discard or score pile to each foe's hand. Lord Satanus. Uh, for superior attack, each player puts two sealed non nemesis villains on the bottom of the main deck. For each, you cannot gain a weakness. And the reward is a seal of villain from the lineup, you may put it on top of your deck. Over here we have Upside Down Man, unavoidable first appearance attack. Each player destroys up to four sealed cards with different card types. For each you do not gain a weakness. These are the basic uh, Justice League Dark supervillains. Now we're going to see the Kickstarter exclusive ones. So over here we have Enchantress. Her reward is each foe gains a weakness. Man Bat. First appearance attack, each player gains a weakness and puts it on the bottom of their deck. The reward is you may put a villain or equipment you control or in your discard pile on the top of your deck. Anton Arcane. First appearance attack, each player reveals a random card from their discard pile and may destroy it. If you did not destroy a card with cost 1 or greater this way, you gain a weakness. The reward is you may seal up to 2 cards from the destroyed pile. Queen of Fables, first superior attack, each player seals the top card of their deck. If you seal the card with cost zero this way, discard the card. And the reward is you may gain a card with cost five or less from the lineup. The Lord of Order, first superior attack is each player gains a weakness for every five cards in their score pile. The reward is seal up to two cards from the lineup. Then we have Clarion, an avoidable first appearance attack. Each player seals a card with cost 1 or greater in their hand and discard pile. The reward is gain Tickle, familiar from the transformation zone in your discard pile. So I got Tickle here, is you may gain a card from the destroy pile and put it in your hand. If you choose not to, then you gain plus 2 power. So they basically go together. And finally, for the super villains, we have Xenodoth, Lord of Chaos. First appears attack, each player destroys a random card in their hand and destroys the top card of their deck. So these are the Kickstarter exclusive super villains. And to complete our set of nemesis, we're going to see uh, the Kickstarter exclusive superheroes, which are Zatanna Zatara and John Constantine. So Zatanna's first superior attack is each player puts two cards from their hand on the bottom of their deck. And the reward is you may put a card you control and or from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck. As for John, first superior attack is each player reveals the top four cards of their deck, destroy a revealed card with cost one or greater, and discard the rest. And the reward is destroy any number of cards from the lineup. At the end of the turn, draw an extra card. We're also going to check out Justice League Dark's expansion. Uh, however, we're going to see everything here first, then we're going to check out the expansion as well. So, 
our kick pile in this game is actually Mystic Ritual. These cards, remember, both of these cards, they do not have types. So whenever the game tells you to do something that you have to count types of cards, they do not count. However, whenever the game says that you have to do something based on the color of the cards, then these do count. As for Mystic Ritual, we have uh, a new keyword here that is you may surge. So what happens here is that now whenever you have to put a card from the main deck in the lineup as a mandatory move, the game will tell you to simply surge. In this case, it's optional, you may surge. So if it says surge, you simply add an additional card to the lineup, okay? And remember, this will cause the lineup to go over the usual five cards. Also, consider that if you're playing a crisis mode, you lose the game if your main deck is empty and <laughs> I decided to play the uh, Crossover Crisis expansion and uh, the base set that I decided to use was actually this one. So I was very aware and cautious about my surges, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Also, over here, we have the sealed tokens. So this is just a neat way to keep track of your sealed cards. Uh, the base game will come with these four tokens. This fifth token is actually a Kickstarter exclusive. Nowadays, whenever uh, Cryptozoic brings a new uh, expansion or base set, whatever, they try to make it uh, compatible for five players. They've been doing this since Injustice. So now we have the four players and a fifth player here, and as well as a set of starter cards. These are Kickstarter exclusive because this is an additional set for the fifth player. Here we have the weaknesses and they have two things that are new, even less points <laughs> by the end of the game because you have two negative points here instead of just one. The other side of the coin is that you return this card to its stack if you discard two cards. So this is an optional move now. Uh, it's, a, it's a neat way to get rid of weaknesses when you can't actually destroy them because you don't have cards that allow you to destroy other cards in your, in your hand or your discard pile. And sometimes you will acquire weaknesses early on in the game, even before you get um, any chance of destroying them. So this is interesting, but if you don't, well, in the end of the game, you're gonna have uh, two less points. Here, the starter cards, they're also new. So we have six punches, right? Then we have uh, your basic vulnerability. Then we have the incantation. The incantation is a plus one power card and it also has a transform. You may destroy four sealed cards and if you do, you seal this one and then you gain a mystic ritual. This mystic ritual will go directly to your hand. So this, this is interesting because you get plus one power, then you actually get plus two, additional plus two, so you get plus three when you seal the card. But that's just a one-time thing because the Mystic Ritual will not revert. So we have an additional vulnerability here, sorry, two vulnerability, the incantation, and a sealed defense. So this is basically a defense card. This is also something inspired by Injustice because we do have a defense card in Injustice and those cards are great. They, they do help you a lot. Uh, because if you don't have a defense in the lineup and people start buying attacks, uh, you can get piled up really fast. It is a neat way to have at, at least some sort of basic defense in the beginning of the game. However, for Justice League Dark, they did something different. You have to transform this. So 
it's going to stay in your hand and do nothing. It's, so it's basically a third vulnerability because it's not gonna do anything unless you pay three and then you seal this card. And when you do that, you're going to get this one here, the actual defend card. And the defend card does the regular defense, which is discard this to avoid an attack. And it also surges, so you may surge, right? So you, you can add additional cards to the lineup. So we saw the oversized characters in the previous video. I did not go over them, did not talk about their abilities. We have here Zatanna. And the first time you play a hero each turn, gain plus one power. First time you play a superpower each turn, you may put a card from the discard pile in the bottom of your deck. Dr. Fate says the first time you seal a card each turn, draw a card. This is amazing. Uh, Ragman, uh, each time you seal a villain, plus one power. Once per turn, seal a card from the lineup with costs less than the cost of a hero or equipment you play this turn. The important thing here is that you only get to do this once, okay? Even though it says hero or equipment, it doesn't say hero and, and it doesn't say for each hero and each equipment, it's once. Once per turn, you can do this and, and then you have the choice of, of the cost. So it basically says less than the cost. So whatever it's higher, it's what it counts. So if you have an equipment or a hero, for example, I know four and the other one is two, of course, you're going to pick four, right? So you can get something that's four or less from the lineup. So keep this in mind. Same goes for Wonder Woman, okay? Each time you seal an equipment, plus one power, once per turn, seal a card from the lineup with cost less than villains or superpowers you play this turn. Man Bat. The first time you play the villain each turn, plus one power. The first time you play an equipment each turn, you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Swamp Thing. Discard a non-weakness card and then surge. Once per turn, if you control two or more locations, draw a card. John Constantine. The first time you play a non-starter card each turn, you may seal it. If you do, draw a card. Dead Man, each time you play a card you don't own, plus one power. Discard a card which costs one or more. Play the top card of a foe's deck, return it at the end of the turn. You see here, it says return it at the end of the turn. Not all cards do this, but it's something to keep in mind. Once per turn, reveal the top card of your deck. If it shares a non starter card type with a card you play this turn, draw it, otherwise you may discard it. Madam Xanadu. Detective Chimp. First time you play an equipment each turn, plus one power, and you may put a card you gain from the lineup this turn on top of your deck. Now let's check out the supervillains. Felix Faust. At the end of each of your turns, draw an extra card for each equipment you gained during that turn. Clarion. First time you play a villain each turn, look at the top card of your deck, destroy it or return it. Black Adam, this is a Kickstarter exclusive, as you can see here. Discard any number of cards with a combined cost of four or more. Play the top card of your main deck and then seal it. Solomon Grundy, discard a card with a hero or villain with a cost five or less from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck. Papa Midnight, you pay one less to buy cards from the lineup that share a card type with a sealed card. Uh, here's a here's the thing, okay? This is another thing that was bothering a lot of people. Uh, here it says you pay one less to buy cards from the lineup that share a card type with a sealed card. It says a sealed card. It's supposed to say with one of your sealed cards because this can be confusing. You know, people, oh, okay, so we have four players, so everybody has a different card type in their, in their sealed piles, so I'm gonna count for every one of those. No, 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 no. Only your sealed cards, okay? Consider this. 
Uh, then we have here Enchantress. Each time you steal a hero, plus one power, once per turn, steal a card from the lineup with cost less than it costs the superpower or equipment you played this turn. Floronic Man. Each time you play a superpower with cost four or more, you may choose a foe and attack. Take control of a location that foe controls until the end of the turn. Steal a location, control, draw a card. They'll probably clarify this at some point. And then we have here, each time you seal a superpower, plus one power. Once per turn, seal a card from the lineup with cost less than the cost of a hero or villain you played this turn. All right, so let's see the main deck cards. And as we go through the main deck cards, we're also going to see their respective uh, transformed versions. Here we have Arian the Sorcerer, transform. If you control superpower and equipment, you may seal this card. If you do, you get Arian Risen in your hand. Otherwise, plus three power. So if you can't transform, you get plus three power. So Arian Risen is here. So this is the card. And it's plus two power. You may put your deck in your discard pile and then put a card from your discard pile into your hand. So basically, you just move your entire deck into your discard pile and then one of those cards go into your hand. I know it's weird, <laughs> but it's good for deck cycling and there, there are some combos that you can get out of this, right? Uh, and it's optional, it says you may, so you don't actually have to do it, right? And the good thing, it, it doesn't have a revert, so it stays like that. Um, okay, next. House of Mystery, ongoing. Once per turn, you may pay three power if you do seal the top card of the main deck. Nurgle, plus three power, attack, each foe reveals the top card of their deck and gains a number of weakness cards equal to its VP value. Chain of Fate, plus two power, you may seal a card in your hand or discard pile and then gather the defense, discard this card to avoid an attack. If you do, draw two cards and you may seal a card in your hand or discard pile. Felix Foss again, but not as a character, but a, a regular villain. Power Hungry, transform, if you have four or more sealed equipment, uh, you may seal this card, and if you do, you gain Felix Faust unbound into your hand. Let's find Felix, here it is, plus two power, you may put an equipment from your discard or score pile into your hand. Tank portal, plus two power, if you have a sealed hero, draw a card. Fusili. Um, after you seal this card from any zone, you may pass a card from your discard or score pile to a foe's discard pile. Plus one power. Tickle. You may put a card from your discard pile on top of your deck if you choose not to. Plus two power. Loronic Man. Uh, this one is uh, Woodru. Transform, you may seal the location you control. If you do, seal this card and gain a new avatar of the green into your hand. So here we go, avatar, where is it? New avatar of the green, which is this picture here in the playmat. Draw two cards, take control of all locations in the lineup and in front of each foe until the end of your turn. And then we have here, I love uh, Zatanna's spells because they're backwards. So this one is Noitanivid but it's actually divination. <laughs> uh, superpower, draw two cards, then put a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. All right, Enchantress, Zamor, uh, plus three power, defense, transform, seal this card from your hand to avoid an attack. And if you do, you gain June Moon Freelancer into your hand. And then the owner of the attack card seals it. So the owner of the attack card seals, it seals the attack card, okay guys? Doesn't seal, doesn't seal June Moon, okay? Uh, June Moon Freelancer, here it is, transform, plus two power, revert. If you gain three or more cards in this turn, you may seal this card, and if you do, get Enchantress back from your score pile. Sealing spell, look at the top card of your deck, seal it or return it, defense discard this card to avoid an attack if you do draw a card. Tower of Fate, ongoing, once per turn, you may seal a card from the lineup with a cost less than the equipment you play this turn. 
which to mark which fire. Uh, plus one power, you may seal this card if you do destroy a card in your hand and or score a pile. And Ragman, if you have five or more sealed villains, you may seal this card. And if you do, you gain Ragman Soul Powered into your hand. So let's... Ragman Soul Powered. Plus one power for each sealed villain. Okay. Uh, otherwise, you seal the villain from the lineup and if you cannot, you gain plus two power. Okay, Kent Nelson, play a card with five or less from the lineup, then seal it. Clarion, plus three power, reveal the top three cards of your deck, draw a revealed card with cost three or less and put the rest back in the order. Polymorph, plus three power, it's an attack, each foe discards a card with cost four or greater, each who does puts a card with cost zero from their discard pile into their hand. Word of Power, uh, after you destroy this card or seal this card from any zone, draw a card, plus two power. Channel the Green, plus two power and additional plus one for each location of control. So now you see what's happening, right? <laughs> now you see how Floronic goes. Tree of Wonder, ongoing. The first time you play a transformed card each turn, draw a card. Ladder Wings, if you control a transformed card, plus three power, otherwise plus one. When it says you control a transformed card, it has to be in play. So you have to play the card. Uh, doesn't count if it's in your uh, score pile. Your score pile is considered out of play, okay? So it's not in under, the cards there are not under your control. So we have here Wonder Woman, transform. If there is an attack and defense card in your play zone and or discard pile, you may seal this card, and if you do, you gain which marked Wonder Woman into your hand. Otherwise, plus three power. Which marked Wonder Woman? So, plus four power, transformed. You may put a defense and or attack card from your discard pile on top of your deck. Plus four power, that's amazing. So, we have here which mark of Hecate, plus two power. You may seal this card if you do put a card from your discard pile into your hand. Khalid Nasur, plus two power, defense, discard, discard to avoid an attack. If you do, draw a card and you may seal a card in your hand or discard pile. Now we have here a Dreamstone, plus two power, attack, each foe gains a weakness. Madam Xanadu, plus two power, look at the top card of your deck, discard it or put it on the bottom or the top of your deck. Possession, attack. Each foe reveals a non-ongoing card with a cost one or greater from their hand. You may play one of the revealed cards. If you do, you return it. Ace of Winchesters. Plus one power, you may destroy a card in the lineup. If you destroyed a card with a cost five or greater this way, draw a card. This is amazing, by the way. <laughs> this is very useful. Which marked Manitou Dawn. Plus two power, you may seal this card. And if you do, each foe gains a weakness. So we have here Witch Marked Black Orchid, plus two power, it's an attack, target foe puts an ongoing card they control into their discard pile. Nightmare Nurse, plus one power, you may destroy a card in your discard pile or square pile. Papa Midnight, plus two power, you may seal a card in your hand or discard pile. If you seal the card with a cost one or greater this way, draw a card. Circe, uh, Witch of Aya, <laughs> transform, if you have four more sealed superpowers, you may seal this card, and if you do, you gain Witch Marked Circe into your hand, and otherwise, seal a superpower from the lineup. If you cannot, you get plus two power. Then we have Ripsid, <laughs> or Disappear. <laughs> Draw a card and you may surge. It's a defense card. You discard this card to avoid an attack. And if you do, you may put another card from the discard pile on the bottom of your deck. Then draw a card. Another card from your discard pile, which means not this one. <laughs> okay. Okay, now Solomon Grundy. Plus two power, defense. Discard this card to avoid an attack. And if you do, put this card on the bottom of your deck and draw a card. Hall of Justice Archives, ongoing, once per turn if you play the hero this turn, draw the bottom card of your deck. Soul Siphon, Surge, this is obligatory, okay, it doesn't say you may surge, it says surge, so you have to surge. You may seal a card from the lineup. Ancient Tomes, after you discard or seal this card from any zone, you may surge, plus one power. Black Alice, 
if you have a sealed superpower, plus three power, otherwise plus one. Now I have Moonblade, New Moon, Transform. If you destroy the card in this turn, you may seal this card. If you do, you gain Moonblade, Full Moon, into your hand, otherwise plus two power. This is Moonblade, Full Moon. And Moonblade, Full Moon does plus three power and an attack. Each foe reveals the top card of their deck. You may seal one of the revealed cards. And the revert is if you seal the card with cost 3 or greater this way, seal this card and gain Moonblade New Moon from your score pile. This is a very powerful card. Uh, then we have Mira on going. Each time you seal a card, plus 1 power. Then we have Heart of Darkness. Transform. If you have 5 or more sealed heroes, you may seal this card. If you do, you gain Eclipso Possessor into your hand, otherwise seal a hero from the lineup, if you cannot, you gain plus two power. And here is Eclipso, plus one power for each sealed hero. Tracy 13, draw a card, defense, discard, discard to avoid an attack, and if you do, you seal this card and draw two cards. And finally, we have the Man Bat Serum, and it says, after you discard or seal this card from any zone, you may destroy a card in your hand or discard pile, and it's a plus two power. Over here we have the Suit of Souls, plus two power. If you have a sealed villain, you draw a card. Nanda Parbat, it's a location, ongoing, once per turn. If you play the superpower this turn, look at the top card of your deck, draw it or seal it. Sword of Knights, plus two power, defense, discard this card to avoid an attack. And if you do, you put a location from the discard pile or score pile into your hand and draw a card. Nick Necro. If you have a sealed equipment, plus three power. Otherwise, plus one. And then finally, the Oblivion Bar. Ongoing. First time you seal a card each turn, look at the top card of your deck, destroy it or return it. Over here we have Deadman. Each foe reveals the top card of the deck. You may play one of the revealed cards, then return it. If you did not play a card with cost one or greater, this way you draw a card. Detective Chimp, plus two power. If you control an equipment, reveal the top card of the main deck, gain it or seal it. Sigil of Fate, plus one power, an additional one power for each different card type among your sealed cards. This is very good. Staff of Merlin, plus two power. You may play a non-transformed card from your score pile. If you do, destroy it. And then finally have Dr. Kirk Langstrom. Transform, you may discard an equipment. And if you do, seal this card and gain man back mutated scientist into your hand. Otherwise, you may seal a card in your hand or discard pile. This is interesting because uh, the man bat serum is actually an equipment. So yeah, <laughs> funny. You're tossing away the serum and then you become a villain. <laughs> Man, bat, mutate, and scientist plus two power, and you may destroy a card you control and revert. If there are no equipment in your discard pile, seal this card and gain Dr. Kirk Lindstrom from your score pile. Now we have a row of very powerful cards. Uh, Zatanna Zatara plus two power, play the bottom card of your deck, then if you still control it, you play it again. Uh, just a reminder, if the card gets destroyed, you can't play it again, okay? So this is that, that's why it says if you still control it, okay? Uh, or I don't know if it's, it was sealed in any way, right? So you, you have to keep control of the card. Helmet of Fate, look at the top three cards of your deck, draw one, seal one, and put one on the bottom or the top of your deck. Hellblazer. Plus two power. However, after you destroy, discard, or seal this card from any zone during your turn, gain it and play it. This is amazing. This is amazing. Magical Shield. You may seal a card in your hand, ongoing, defense, put this card on the bottom of your deck to avoid an, an attack. So, important thing here is this card is actually ongoing and then defense. You can't play the defense out of your hand. And the effect above, you may seal a card in your hand, you only do it once. You do it when you play it. The ongoing effect is only for the defense. The Scarab Necklace, transform if you control five or more cards, including this one, uh, with different card types, you may seal this card, and if you do, you gain Black Adam Corrupted into your hand. Otherwise, draw a card, 
You may destroy a card in your hand, discard pile or score pile. And the reward is amazing because you get Black Adam and you may put any number of cards with cost 5 or less and different card types from your discard pile into your hand. And if you choose not to, it's plus 3 power. Finally, we have these 5 cards. Mary Bromfield, Billy Batson, 8 Dimensional Map, Houdini Key and House of Secrets. Mary does a transformation, you may discard a hero or villain and seal this card. If you discard the hero, you gain Mary new champion. So Mary Marvel new champion, this one. Or, if you discard the villain, you get Mary Marvel corrupted. Uh, Mary Marvel new champion is a plus four power, revert. If there are no heroes in your discard pile, you seal the discard and gain Mary Marvel from your score pile. Corrupted, same thing, plus four power, if there are no villains, and then you do the same. Billy Batson, you may discard the superpower, if you do, you seal this card and you gain Shazam. There you go. Plus three power, revert, if there are no superpowers in your discard pile, you seal this and then you gain Billy Batson, chosen. Eight dimensional map, you may discard the card with cost five or greater, and if you do, you seal this card and you gain the books of magic into your hand, otherwise draw a card. These are the books of magic. Draw two cards. Houdini Key, plus one power, take control of a location from the lineup or controlled by another player until the end of the turn. The House of Secrets. Each time you play or seal a villain during your turn, plus one power and you may surge. There are also exclusive cards. So <laughs> let's take a look at the Kickstarter ones. Let me put them here. Some of them are very interesting and very powerful. Skeleton Key, plus two power. You may seal this card. If you do, you put a transform card from your discard pile into your hand. Magic Portal, plus one power. You may put any cards you gain this turn on the top or bottom of your deck. Dr. Mist, plus three power. Attack, each foe puts a card with a cost of zero from their discard or score pile on the bottom of their deck. Uh, and then Jason Blood, Soulbound, plus three power, defense. Discard this card to avoid an attack. If you do, you choose one. You either draw two cards or you transform by sealing this card and gain Etrigan Soulbound to your discard pile. It doesn't go to your hand. Aha, found one. I knew it. <laughs> Not all of them go to your hand. This one goes to your discard pile because this one is too powerful. And also, you can't do this transformation unless you defend. This is the only way to get this card. And Etrigan, Etrigan Soulbound, this is very interesting because his text, a rhyme, because it's a rhyming demon. So, and by the way, this is a promo card. This is not a Kickstarter card. This is not exclusive for the Kickstarter. This is actually a promo card, these two. So. Your nemesis I may slay, and no power you will pay. If you choose to make this deal, gun this demon you must seal. You can actually just, uh, you know, defeat a nemesis for free, but then Atrogan is sealed. But it's really, really powerful. Breastplate of Ahoku, seal the top, cards, uh, top two cards of the main deck, and it's a defense, discard this card to avoid an attack. If you do, you draw a card and seal the top card of the main deck. And Zaxatara is plus one power. You may put a card from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck. Over here we have Gauntlets of Myrath, uh, plus two power. If you have five or more sealed cards, you draw a card. Limbo Town, ongoing once per turn. You look at the top three cards of your deck, put them back in any order. Mr. E, plus two power, defense, discard this card to avoid an attack. If you do, look at the top card of your deck, uh, seal it or return it, and then uh, draw two cards. Rip Asunder, plus three power, it's an attack, each foe reverts a transformed card in their discard pile. They seal it and gain its transformed, so basically it's telling you, because sometimes you, you, know, you need this confirmation, but it's telling you because if you're reverting something from the discard pile, Obviously, you're going to gain the transformed version from the score pile, so it's going to go to your discard pile as well. Eldritch Magic, plus two power. You may put a transformer revert card from your discard pile on top of your deck. Jinx, draw a card. 
If you control location, plus two power, and you may destroy a card in your discard and or score pile. Okay, over here we have Raven Rachel, plus one power and destroy a card in your hand. Transform. If you destroy a card that costs one or greater this way, seal this card and gain Dark Raven into your discard pile. So, where is Dark Raven? Here she is. Plus five power and gain a weakness. She's also minus three score in the end of the game, so be careful. <laughs> Uh, revert. If you control two or more heroes, you may return this card to the transformation zone and gain Raven Racial from a score pile. You may. I believe this is the only instance of a revert action that you're not, you know, obligated to do it. And every time you play it, it's gain a weakness, so you're probably not gonna be doing it very often, but still good card good interesting card it's a good design concept considering that it's raven you know ember plus two power you may seal this card if you do destroy any number of cards in the lineup then refuel the lineup shade the changing man plus two power if you control a transformed card draw a card the demons three if you destroy or seal this card from any zone plus three power this was interesting uh, because I believe since I was playing Crisis, there were some events, some some situations where I uh, I got to destroy cards for free, and this was one of the cards that actually gave me additional power because of that. So it's like in the end, you can get two plus two power, but then if you destroy this, you get an, you get an additional plus three power. Tenerak. After you destroy or seal this card from any zone, gain the top card of the main deck, plus two power, and cloak up Syrah. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it has cost three or less, draw it. Otherwise, plus power equal to its cost. This is also a great card, uh, especially when you hit it with something like, uh, if you can put a card on top of your deck and it's a cost seven or a cost eight card, this, this is amazing. And finally, we have Boots of Delphi here at the bottom. Uh, you may gain a location from the lineup or your score pile and put it into your hand. If you choose not to, plus two power. Okay, now we have here the uh, Justice League Dark expansion. So this was a expansion that was included for the Justice League Dark box. Uh, this is the manual right uh, it's fairly simple uh, some additional cards some changes in the basic rules first what do we have here one different additional starter card is lepsid ezruk curse dispel this is a very important card for this uh, game mode you have to remove one of the punches and then you substitute that for this card uh, plus one power, you may put a weakness you control or from your discard pile on the bottom of its stack. So this here is uh, important, the, this part on the bottom of its, of its stack and uh, the fact that you have to control the weakness because uh, in this game we have cursed weaknesses. See? And then you're going to shuffle these right uh, and whenever you get one of the weaknesses you you get it randomly so we're going to see each one of them because they have different effects and when you get one of these in your hand and you, you have to play these immediately before anything else and once they are destroyed you have to put them back in the bottom of the pile okay the bottom of their deck a new transformations we have uh, rose psychic here and Black Briar Thorn. So these we're going to keep these here because they are here in the main deck cards. And we have here the um, superheroes, not super villains, <laughs> superheroes that we're fighting. Because remember, this expansion, as I showed you, are all super villains. Over here, Giovanni Zatara. Uh, reward, you may put a card you control in your discard pile on the bottom of your deck. 
Uh, Avatar of the Red. First appearance attack, each player gains a weakness unless they seal a superpower from their hand or discard a pile. The reward is you may gain a superpower from your score pile or the lineup. Detective Chimp. First appearance attack, each player reveals the top three cards of their deck and discards all revealed cards with cost one or greater. The reward is look at up to three cards from the top of your deck. You may seal one of them and put the rest back in any order. The Nightmaster, first appearance attack, each player gains a weakness and an additional weakness if they have one or more sealed cards with cost five or greater. The reward is reveal the top card of the main deck, gain it or seal it. Ragman. First appearance attack, each player gains a weakness unless they seal a villain from their hand or discard pile. The reward is you may gain a villain from your score pile or the lineup. Then we have over here the avatar of the green. First appearance, each player discards three cards unless they seal a location they control. The reward is gain a location from the lineup or any player's score pile and put it in your hand. Blue Devil. First appearance attack. Each player puts an equipment from their discard and score pile into the lineup. For each, you cannot gain a weakness. Reward, seal equipment from the lineup. You may put it on top of your deck. Nightshade. First appearance attack. Each player puts two non-nemesis heroes from their score pile on the bottom of the main deck. For each, you cannot, you gain a weakness. The reward is seal a hero from the lineup. You may put it on top of your deck. Avatar of the Rot. First appearance attack, each player destroys two cards total with costs one or greater in their hand and or score pile. The reward is you may gain a card from the destroyed pile and put it on top of your deck. The Spectre. First appearance attack, each player destroys a card with cost five or greater in their hand and discard pile. Each player that avoids this attack gains a weakness in their hand. And now we have five exclusives, okay? Five kickstart exclusive cards. The Wizard. Reward, seal a card from the lineup. Phantom Stranger, first appearance attack, each player seals a card with the highest cost in their hand or discard pile, and the reward is you may gain a non-transformed card from your score pile. Dead Man, first appearance attack, each player discards a random card, you may destroy a card in your discard and or score pile. Wonder Woman, first appearance attack, each player destroys an attack and defense card from the discard and or score pile. For each, you cannot gain a weakness. Reward is gain an attack and or defense card from the lineup or your score pile. And finally, we have over here, Dr. Fate, first appearance attack, each player seals their hand, then draws four cards. Seal each defense card used to avoid this attack. We've covered all the super heroes from the Nemesis stack. Now let's take a look at the lineup. All right, I'm only showing these five cards because the others are repeats of these cards. So we have Aya ongoing once per turn. If there are five or more cards with different types in your score pile, there are cards. Born on a Monday, play the bottom card of your deck. Then if you still control it, you may put it on top of or bottom of your deck. Dr. Occult, transform, choose a non-starter card type, then reveal the top of your deck. If it is of the same card type, seal this card and gain Rose Psychic into your hand. This is Rose Psychic, otherwise you get plus two power. Rose Psychic, reveal and draw the top three cards of your deck. Revert, if you drew cards with a combined cost of eight or more this way, seal this card and then gain Dr. Occult from your score pile. Then we have over here, Black Briar Thorn, Druid, Transform. If there are five or more cards with different card types in your discard pile, you may seal this card. If you do, you gain Black Briar Thorn Elemental into your hand. Otherwise, you draw two cards and then you discard two cards. And Black Briar Thorn is plus three power. You may put a card from your discard pile on top of your deck. And finally, we have Ruby of Life. After you discard or seal this card from any zone, seal the top card of the main deck plus one power and draw a card. Before we go on these two, I'd like to point out that the Nemesis reward is a very interesting way to make all the other DC deck building sets compatible with Justice League Dark. So what do I mean by that? Uh, you will notice that the Nemesis from different sets do not have rewards that would fit 
the, um, the theme of this game. So we have this deck, this separate deck, to do that for us. So whenever you draw a card that is, does not belong to Justice League Dark, you can simply get a Nemesis reward. You will check the value of that Nemesis, and then you check the reward that says here. So we have here at the end of the turn, draw an extra card, then discard a card, and so on, so on. So we have many different options. We have here, seal a hero from the lineup, gain a hero from the lineup. These are for the expansion, right? This is the expansion, just a sleek dark expansion. They come along with the expansion. Cursed weaknesses. I'll try to leave the repeats over here. What do we have here? Disenchanted, uh, discard an equipment, haunted, Put this card in the bottom of your deck. Traumatized. Destroy a punch in your hand. Lose control. Discard a villain. Possessed. Attack. Target foe gains this card. <laughs> so you attack somebody else and then you, <laughs> you transfer the possession. Okay. Betrayed. Discard a hero. Animus Prophecy. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it has a cost of one or greater, you discard it. Lost. Discard the location you control. Dark Ritual. Plus one power. What? <laughs> Chaos Magic, draw a card. Of course, it's minus three. And this one is minus two. While the others are minus one. So whatever uh, actually penalizes you, it's minus one. But the, un the ones that give you some sort of benefit, uh, they counterbalance that by giving you extra negative points. As it is the case for which marked as well. Defense, discard, discard to avoid an attack. It's minus two. Bewitched, you cannot defeat Nemesis card this turn, and Silenced, discard a superpower. All right, everyone, this pretty much covers everything for Justice League Dark, as well as for Justice League Dark expansion. And I'd like to point out something that in the previous video I mentioned that the uh, cover for the box would be this art. Similarly, but it, it's not that. This is This is actually the the exclusive art, uh, just a different background. That's what I got confused. It was late at night, I was tired. <laughs> so I, I didn't know what I was talking about. The actual cover is this one. This is the real cover for the retail version. So when you guys get it, it's gonna be this one instead of this one. Uh, honestly, I prefer this cover for the box. Uh, I don't mind this one for the playmat. But I prefer this one for the for the box. I actually asked for this one, but I believe that my order was so big, <laughs> all the content pledged, everything basically, that once they got they, they put the playmat in there, I think they they thought that I was uh, that I actually wanted the exclusive box instead of the the regular box that it, it was probably a mistake on my part. It wasn't. <laughs> I actually wanted the regular uh, box, but it's okay. I don't mind. Uh, but just so you guys know, this is the um, this is the regular cover. All right. So I'll see you guys next time. Uh, we're going to check out the uh, Rivals box, which is going to be uh, way less than this. And once we've finished with that, we're going to do another video covering uh, the crossover pack 10 and also crisis crossover which also includes the golden age crisis mode so we're going to talk about those uh, I'll see you guys the next time bye bye